AMC 10A 2019 problem 13. We're given all those criteria in the geometric shapes, and we're trying to find angle BFC. Well, when, off, when we're trying to find an angle given a geometric shape, off, always relate that angle to shapes that we're given with. And how can we find angle BFC? Well, angle BFC can be found within triangle BFC, because that obviously has that angle. And how do you find angle BFC in relation to other angles? Well, angle BFC is the same thing as 180 degrees, the total interior sum of a triangle, minus, not equal to, minus angle BCF minus angle CBF. This should come as common sense and pretty intuitive, just from visually. Now with this groundwork, we can begin to find out angle BCF, angle C CBF, which is the same thing as angle CBF or BCF, which is the same thing as angle BCE. And the reason why I have to write that is because I can find angle BCF or angle BCE within triangle BCE. And why is that? Because triangle BCE has the angle BCE. Now, what kind of triangle is BCE? Well, angle triangle BCE is a right triangle. How do I know that? Angle CEB is relevant to this entire arc. It is, it is uh, proportional to it. And how do we know that? It is because of segments BE and CE. That's how I know that. And since CB is the diameter, the length of arc CB will be 180 degrees. And since angle BEC is an inscribed angle, then that's obviously half of that arc, which is 90 degrees. So triangle CBE will be a right triangle. And now that we have this, we can begin to find out angle BCE. Angle BCE should come out as no surprise. That will be equal to 180 degrees, the total interior sum, minus 90 degrees, the right angle, minus angle CBE. Now, do we know what angle CBE is? We do, we do know. We know that angle BCA is the same thing, or ACB, is 40 degrees. And since triangle BCA is an isosceles triangle, what is angle CBA? Well, CBA will be equal to 180 degrees minus 40 divided by 2, which is the same thing as 70 degrees. So we have to subtract this entire thing with 70 degrees, which gives us 20 degrees. So this tells us that angle BCF or BCE will be 20 degrees. So we have one part of this down. Now we just need to find angle CBF. How do you find angle CBF? Well, angle CBF is the same thing as angle CBD. And why do I need that? Because triangle CBD has angle CBD. And why do I need that? Because triangle CBD is a right triangle for the same reasons for triangle CBE. BD segment and CD segment form a arc that is the same to this entire arc which since CB is a diameter, that arc will be 180 degrees. Since CDB is an a inscribed angle, that will be a right triangle as well. And now that we have that, we can also find angle CBF or CBD. Angle CBD will be 180 degrees, the sum of the interior, minus the 90 degree, which is the right angle, minus angle C, uh, BCD. And angle BCD we're given with, which is 40 degrees which is the same thing as 50 degrees. So now we can find the solution to this question. The solution will be 180 minus 20 minus 50, which is the same thing as 110 degrees. And we look up and we see that, yep, answer choice D has 110, so that's our solution.